Okay, in this demo, I'm gonna talk all about data, how to view analytics of your data, how to view individual registrants, how to edit them, how to upgrade them, how to downgrade them, how to cancel a registrant, and then I'm gonna also show you our exports. So we have a lot to cover. So here is our page here where we can view an overview of our open registration pages, and we can see a quick glance of revenue and registrants. Clicking that will take me to the roster. A couple things here is one is clicking this analytics icon here will take me to the analytics for that page. And so from here, I can see quick summary across uh, sales, registrants, and visitors and traffic, even things like conversion rate uh, and, and revenue per uh, unique visit. So we try in this screen to give you all the important uh, pieces of information for you to understand what's going on with your Retrox page. And uh, we'll give them in itemized and breakout formats here. Uh, so we also give you an overview of time and revenue and traffic as it relates to revenue here. And then we're going to give you registration insights, the things that you really care about, things like average uh, uh, transaction total per registration, average transaction time, top day of the week, top hour of the day. Uh, and so we try to give you all these insights here. And then any data you're capturing on the registration page, we're going to give it to you in these kind of visual donut chart formats. We'll show you the number of selections, the percentage of those as it relates to the whole, and then the revenue that came from that selection. And we'll do that for anything that you capture on the page. We'll also show conversion rate and percentage of new customers. Uh, we'll give you breakouts of people donated, what percentage of those donations uh, were selected. And so uh, anything that you captured here on the form, you're gonna see a little representation here visually for it. So really handy, even down to a map of visitors and registrations to see where traffic's coming from and where your customers are. So that is the page analytics from here. And you also can go edit your page. You also have a quick link to export the data associated with this page as well. Now, if you wanna see analytics that are rolled up across all of your RegFox pages, that is gonna be under the dashboard here. So under dashboard, you're gonna get a similar uh, overview analytics screen like this that's going to show you net sales and total registrants and a lot of really helpful metrics here. It's gonna give you insights across all the pages and if you've got several pages here, it'll give you all the top performing pages as well as recent transactions and registrants. So lots of useful details here. And so that is the analytics. Uh, and then there's also date filters here so you can filter it down to a select number of pages or even dates as well that are in specific intervals. So that is analytics. So let's talk about viewing registrant records and registrants. So we go up to registrations up here and here we have our attendee list or our roster list, different people call these different things. So here are all of our registrants. And so we can see these are all of them across the top here. We can organize them across to maybe registrants who are on payment plans if you have that enabled somewhere or uh, registrants who are on a wait list and pre-registrations. I have a demo for all three of those in a separate demo you can watch. And you can filter this page down by status uh, and also individual RegFox page, and you can quickly export any of the attendees straight from there as well. So let's talk about managing your registrants. Specifically, what happens if you need to edit them, maybe to upgrade them to registration option, or maybe downgrade them, resulting in a partial refund, or maybe you need to cancel them altogether. A lot of systems make this really complicated, and a lot of providers, if you're gonna upgrade them and there's a partial charge or a partial refund, they just tell you to start over, cancel them and have them start all over from scratch. But RegFox makes this really easy. So let's walk through uh, all those examples uh, with the registration record here. So let's go down to Phil Dunphy, who is, again, one of my favorite TV characters, and I can just click the pencil to edit him, or I can view his registration record. So here's his registration record, and I can see the basic details about him. I can see his status. I can see the date. Then I can see exactly what he registered for. Up here, I can edit him. I can cancel, and I can resend his email confirmation if I need. But down also here, check this out, is I can hit Add Registrant, meaning I can add an additional attendee onto his registration record. For example, maybe it's a colleague, or maybe it's a sibling, or friend, or spouse. And it's really easy with RegFox. So you can just add the person here and look over here. We are going to charge the card on file. We don't have to have people cancel and start all over again. It's very easy to just add somebody on here, charge the card on file and move on. And uh, you also could charge a different card if you want. You uh, as well could just add a person and not charge them at all. So you have all those options there to add additional attendees. Now let's say Phil calls and he decides he wants to make a change to his registration record. You can hit edit and we can edit something simple such as maybe some uh, 
text surrounding his dietary restrictions. We could change a meal choice and all that's fine. There's no financial details that are changed here, but where it gets complicated for a lot of systems where they actually don't allow this is they don't allow you to actually change the options, which will result in a different order total. But RegFox makes this really easy. So we just are gonna upgrade him to the corporate registration. We also see that once he's upgraded there, a new field is required. So we're gonna add founder there as his title. And so now the registration details up here uh, change based upon the requirements of the prior options. So any fields that need to be answered as a result of that change is just presented to you there. And then over here we see, again, we can just charge the card on file. We also can override the amount and do a different amount altogether and charge a separate card uh, as well. So we'll do this uh, updated email confirmation. We'll give a little custom message here and you just hit save. And just like that, now Phil has been upgraded. He's on the corporate registration and we see down in his records down here, you see that we have this original charge of 301 and then a day later, we charge and upgrade him for 265. Really awesome, right? Now this also works for downgrading as well. So let's say Phil calls and he wants to do the opposite uh, and he wants to go down to an individual registration. So again, the registration fields repopulate, give you new options for what's now required and we now see that he's owed a refund. And you, you can edit that amount. You can also change without a refund. Uh, so you have all those options there. So upgrades and downgrades are incredibly easy and you just hit save. The change is made, the card is charged, an email goes out and your life is super easy. Let's now say that you need to cancel Phil. So canceling is really easy as well and gives you lots of options for how you wanna man manage cancellations. So we're just gonna go up here and hit cancel and the system is gonna ask you what you wanna do. The first one is gonna be do not refund and just cancel them. Uh, the most popular option here is to issue them a coupon for the transaction amount and that can use that coupon on a future event or registration page. And you can specify the amount, the expiration date, you can blind cover copy yourself or people on your team. It's gonna send uh, him an email with a reply from you and you can add additional notes. And so it's really easy to manage cancellations by giving them credit to future events. You also can do a partial refund as well. And so you can decide, hey, we can't refund you the whole amount, but we can refund you maybe $100 of it. Uh, that's totally up to you. And the last option here is to uh, cancel them and refund them the amount that they've paid. So uh, when you refund something and cancel them, uh, all of our fees actually go back to them and so do the credit card processing fees. A lot of other providers, they will keep their platform fees and they'll keep the credit card processing fees as well. But when you cancel registration, uh, all that money goes back and that person is made whole. And you can send a cancellation notice here and you can give some custom text there. So that is how you manage your registrations. That's how you upgrade, downgrade, do partial charges, partial refunds, cancellations. Hopefully you are impressed with what you are seeing here. So next, let's turn our attention over to exports. And our exports are under reports and under exporter. So you go here and we can see there's a bunch of different exports that we can have. So I can go into registrant data and this is gonna give me all the registrant records of that particular form. So I can just choose what fields I wanna export and I will choose these and move them over here. And so I can just export this right now and this is gonna to download to Excel and I can open this up and this is gonna show me all my registrant records here. So we see our registrant records, we have this in nice in Excel format, and so I've got all the data that I selected, and it's super easy and instantly in Excel, which is great. Now, you also could decide to do some filters on this. So on the right-hand side here, we can start filtering out attendees. We can say, we only want to find the people who selected beef and we can do that. Or maybe it's a registration option. We only want those who are the corporate registrations. And so now choosing these filters is going to take all the registrants for that page. It's gonna export these fields and then it's going to eliminate anybody who does not meet the filtering criteria. You also can filter based by date there as well. So lots of great options for you there. Now let's say you want to get back to this report and run it instantly. Uh, you have this option down here for memorize this report. And so you can give this a name and it can be Eric's uh, master export for the DunderCon conference. And so you then could come here and load memorize reports and then all these presets will automatically populate and you could download it. Now the other powerful thing you can do is you can memorize a report 
and then you can auto schedule it. So you can say, I want this to be run five days before my event, which is great. And you can have that automatically set. What's really powerful though, is let's say that there's Janet in accounting or Jim in accounting, and they want to have a daily export, or let's say, let's say weekly export of the records. You can name this Jim's export. It's gonna auto run every single Monday, and we're going to email it to him uh, directly here. It's like jim at awesomeco.co, and then it's by default gonna send him all the records, but let's say Jim has been asking forever, I don't need all the records, just send me the new records. No problem, Jim. We just enabled that, and now Jim is only gonna get the recent uh, registrations from the last time this export ran. And you save that, and then Jim's gonna get that uh, download for that export every single Monday. And you have weekly on Fridays, you have bi-monthly, and you have month in the first, you have daily. You have so many powerful options here for your exports. So let me show you some of the other exports that are available to you. Back up here under exports, we can go back to that landing screen here and we can look at transactions. Now transactions is gonna be all the uh, financial data. So registrations is going to include their selections, the data they provided you. Transactions is just gonna be the, the charges on the credit cards. So this is a slightly different export and it's gonna give you additional details here just all around the financials. So you have that there. You also going back here, we have our attendee reports. This would be those who've checked in and attended different sessions and so you can see attendance from there. Uh, going back up here, we have bank deposits, and this is gonna be perfect for any bookkeeper or any accountant, and you'd select the, the appropriate pages, and this is going to total and summarize all of the deposits that hit your bank account and organize them by people, because how this works is that the credit card processors are gonna have a cutoff time at a certain day, and you're gonna have a, a batch deposit into your bank account. And so this report will show you who was in that batch deposit, what were the transactions and what were the totals and what data they hit. So this is gonna be the one that you wanna have for your bookkeeper, your accountant, whoever it is. So really powerful there. And again, you can memorize this report as well. Uh, other options in here, just to quickly show you, would be products. So if you have merchandise and you want to uh, show the totals and the people who order merchandise, maybe you wanna have a will call list at, on site for those who order product, you can do that. There's coupons, uh, the ambassador program, signatures, there's some great stuff there. So great exports and details there. And if you wanna quickly see some of these items at a list uh, view, so let's say we wanna go to the transactions. Again, this is our transaction view where we're just gonna see the financials of an individual person who paid. I can go here to FINA. I can look at FINA here and I can see what she was charged for. And then I can uh, go down here and see where did she register uh, this, this transaction with. And so we can see here, oh, this was for uh, this particular event. And so I can manage her from there. Under contacts, uh, we start to roll up all of your contacts here. And we have a, a light CRM for you uh, where you can manage and see customers. So I can go here and click on a customer. And here I can see John Jacobs. And I can make uh, notes and interactions about John Jacobs. I can see recent transactions. And if I have interactions with John, uh, we can say met John for lunch. We can save that interaction and that gets added to his uh, record here. We also can add tasks. Um, so if we wanna follow up with somebody, if we want to reach out to them about doing a sponsorship, if we want to uh, invite them to a VIP part of our event, we can also add tasks. And so we can add those tasks in here with due dates. And so. Uh, great option here to roll up your customer data into a nice simple area. You can see their payment methods and it's really easy to manage. So that is the overview for our analytics, our reports, our exports, our attendee management, our upgrades, our downgrades, and also our light CRM. So if there's something that you're seeing that you have a question about, please reach out to us. If there's something you're, you're trying to do, let us know because there are so many great things in the RegFox system. We just can't simply show every single variation. So hopefully this gives you a good taste. Uh, appreciate you attending the demo here and hope to see you on another one here soon.